Cisco considers making changes to CCNA every year. In this video, I'll tell you about the timing, how you can learn about those changes, and how to best get ready for those changes. In this video, I break it down into these topics. We'll start out talking about the Cisco Certification Roadmap. That's the official term for this annual review process. Then I'll talk about a similar program with the publisher, Cisco Press, and about how they intend to change their books and videos over time. And then what do you do with it? How do you get prepared? How do you get notified? And what do you do if there are changes? All right, let's get into it. So let's look back at history for a moment. There have been nine CCNA revisions in its history as of the date that I recorded this, dating back to 1998. And each time Cisco changed the blueprint, changed the CCNA exam, they came out with new exam numbers. So these six-digit numbers with a dash in between each set of three were the new exam numbers that Cisco came out with. But in 2020, they changed their conventions a little bit. They did change the exam number in 2020 to 200-301, but they also gave the blueprint the document that lists the exam topics, a version number. And the first one they did that with was version 1.0. And then the next time they changed CCNA, they didn't change the exam number. They left it the same and gave the version number a change to version 1.1 because it was a minor update. So over time, the CCNA exam number should stay 200-301 with these changes to the blueprint numbers. Now, that matters to this update process. Another thing that matters is looking back about how big the changes were and how often they happened. So over this long history, the average time between changes were about 3.3 years, but most recently, the last two decades, it's been about four years, but it hasn't been a consistent four years. One time it was five and a half years, another time it's two and a half years, that kind of thing. It's fairly unpredictable. For instance, over those decades, there might be a new CCNA announcement followed by an exam release. So there's always a little bit of time to react, but there'd be three to six months between the announcement of a new blueprint and a new exam. So you had a little bit of time to react. But then over time, you just didn't know. You kept studying and as time went on, you're wondering, are they going to make a big change to the CCNA exam tomorrow? Then eventually, they just announce it one day. Here's a new blueprint. The exam is coming. You've got three to six months to finish up with the old before the new is there, and you can't take the old exam anymore. So that gave people a fair amount of heartache and heartburn about these exam changes. So what Cisco changed with this certification roadmap is to tell us and every year they have an annual cycle of considering changes. So here's what they do. Over a one quarter, three month period, they do an internal review. They don't tell us what they're doing and they think about CCNA and they think, do we change it or not? And if we do, what do we change? And then in the next quarter, they make a public announcement with the release of a new blueprint document. That is the set of exam topics that they publish. All right. Then if they change it, there's a three to six month cycle to come out with a new exam. If it's a minor set of changes, the new exam releases in the next quarter, three months or so out. Or if it's a major change, the exam releases six months out, two quarters forward from the release. So it's a permanent process, permanent ongoing announcements. It's predictable timing. We know the exact months this happens. And by the way, they've said that over time, they expect more frequent no updates, more frequent small updates than the old days where every update was a major update and very disruptive to those of you studying for the exams. What are the specific dates? Well, for CCNA, it's February through April for those internal discussions. I published this video in February of 2025, so they're talking about it right now then we should expect between May and July to hear an announcement about what they're going to do, either no change, minor change, or major change. And if there's minor or major changes, they'll publish the blueprint and tell us about it. Then they'll also tell us the timing they expect to have for the exam to come out. Now, you can watch this webpage to learn more about that and keep an eye on that ongoing. Now, if you wonder about those combinations of months, well, it turns out that Cisco has a fiscal year that starts in August, so their first fiscal quarter is August through October, their second fiscal quarter is November through January, and so on. 
So that's why they pick those months. It's just matching up to how they manage their business internally based on their fiscal quarters. So looking back a few years, 2023 calendar year, 2023 was the first time Cisco applied this annual cycle. So they thought about it back in February through April 2023. And in May of 2023, they announced no change. Then there was nothing else to do in that cycle. But then in the next cycle, which happened mostly in calendar year 2024, they thought about internally in February through April 2024. And just before the next quarter, late April 2024, they announced a minor update. They published the new blueprint. And because it was minor, the exam released in the next quarter. It was late August of 2024. And they labeled that blueprint version 1.1 versus the earlier version 1.0 and kept the exam number the same. So here we sit in February of 2025, and here's the third time Cisco has applied that cycle, and we just don't know what they're going to do, right? They may not know what they're going to do at this point. They're talking about it. And once they talk about it during their third fiscal quarter of this year, February through April, they'll tell us, all right? So that's why I brought up the video is so you're ready for how they go about telling us and you're ready to react whether there's a minor or major or no change to CCNA. Now let's talk about Cisco Press and their associated program. When Cisco changes a blueprint, they may want to change content in their books, but it's a dilemma because it's an annual process. So they've come up with this program, they call it the Content Update Program, and it includes some digital updates of the books, translated a downloadable PDF, you can read more about it at this link. And I encourage you, if you do have Cisco Press books, like my CCNA official cert guides, that you go there and you read the frequently asked questions on the page. They really do explain a lot of what the options are. But the net of it is that they'll do their best to make online content available with minor updates. But at some point, the books are going to have a new edition. All right, The longer the time is, and the more accumulated changes to the content, the more likely the next update to a blueprint will result in a new edition. All right, so the possible results when Cisco announces a new blueprint for any exam, it might be a digital update that's a free download, it might be a digital update that because of some the size or the timing, it might be a small fee to get that content, or it might just be time for a whole new edition and there's no digital update. All right, so the facts talk to some of that. But just to talk you through the obvious one when it's free material, in my case with the CCNA official cert guides, it's two books. So there is a web page at ciscopress.com for each book, and there's an updates tab on that page. And for instance, right now you can find the errata or fix file for each book on separate pages. So if you haven't before, you might want to pull each of those down. But note, it's two different pages, two different errata files, one per book. And the same thing would happen here. If there was a future minor update, say one here in 2025, and we added content, then the PDFs for those digital updates would appear on those update tabs. All right, so that's the idea. And to reach those, here's some nice, easy links that you could use ccna.link slash vol1 and vol2 for those specific books. So how do you prepare for this possibility of changes in calendar year 2025? First off, relax. Even if it happens, it's almost certainly going to be a minor change. We, we don't know yet. But in the old days, imagine these dots are four years apart. All of those changes were major changes when the exam changed every three or four years, all right? That was pretty painful. But this day and age, statistically speaking, most of the changes would be minor. So say in my books, it might be 50 pages of new content. So whenever you happen to live through one of those, it'd be pretty easy to get your hands on content to cover those new topics and not too disruptive to your study process. So it shouldn't be bad if it happens, but you want to be aware of it if it does. So the first thing you want to do is right now even go to that URL at Cisco, www.cisco.com slash go slash cert roadmap and opt in. The graphic at the bottom shows a piece of the web page as it exists right now. And there's this button down here that says sign up for automatic notifications. Do that. The other oddity is that once you do that, when you 
interact with Cisco, particularly learning at Cisco. In the meantime, if there's ever something that's basically an opt-in or opt-out, don't opt-out because that may give you a blanket opt you out of the automatic notifications for CCNA, all right? Like you sign up for a webinar, don't opt out of communications on that one. Stay opted in until you hear about what they're doing with CCNA. And at that point, you can opt out again if you're tired of hearing from Cisco. Similar thing with Cisco Press. Go to their new cert URL, that's www.ciscopress.com new cert. And here's a graphic on the right that shows the box that says stay informed. Just give them your email address. Now, you will get all sorts of things from them, you know, discounts, whatever they're discounting this month and things like that. Opt in. You can't opt in just for information about certification updates. But when you get tired of those, after you've heard about CCNA, all those emails have the usual unsubscribe link at the bottom. If you're tired of those, you can get rid of them. But don't unsubscribe until you hear about CCNA in the May to July time frame. Then you can always just listen out with me. You can go to my link tree to get links to all my social media places that are down here. But specifically, there's YouTube, which clearly you found, LinkedIn, Twitter, and there's my blog down at the bottom. I would certainly put some blog, blog articles out about the details of whatever Blueprint updates get announced. Sitting here in February 2025, we don't know what Cisco is going to do, but they have told us that somewhere in the May to July time frame, they will tell us. So watch for that. It could be a no change, could be a minor change, could be a major change. We'll find out then, and I'll be ready with some advice on how to deal with it, whatever the changes may be. Hey, thanks for hanging out. Hopefully you found this useful. Leave me a comment, share, like, you know, the usual things. Or if you're new to the channel, click subscribe and click a bell so you'll be notified of new videos here. Thanks for hanging out. I'll talk to you soon.